Well, this is a strawberry, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just zip up the bag and uh, mash the strawberry up really well to separate the cells and make them all come apart because the whole goal of this experiment is to liberate the DNA contained within the cells. So before that happens, we have to separate them to expose the cell walls. So I'm just going to mash it up really, really well. And this works because uh, strawberries have eight copies of each chromosome and they have exceptionally large DNA, so we're able to see it with the naked eye. Uh, we would not be able to do this with human DNA because we only have two copies uh, per cell or per chromosome in our cells and uh, they're really, they're a lot smaller. So, I've mashed up the strawberries and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this liquid, which is a mixture of uh, detergent, salt, and water. And the detergent should break open the cell walls, so I'm going to mix it up a little bit and make sure. The detergent should break open the cell walls and uh, liberate the DNA from the strawberry, if it works, which hopefully it will. Um, so here we go. This is my strawberry mixture. I'm going to mix it up really well. Right? See it changing color, so hopefully that means it's working. I don't know what I Get all the DNA in there. So hopefully right now there's DNA floating around in the strawberry. Right? So hopefully by now what the liquid would have done is it would have broken open the cell wall and it would have um, gotten into the nucleus and then broken that open too. So we have DNA molecules. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cup, take a coffee filter, and then I'm just going to filter this liquid through the coffee filter. Because we don't want the pulp left behind, we just want the DNA molecules contained in the solution. So I'm going to very carefully pour this whole mixture into the coffee filter. Right, so here's our strawberry mixture. I'm going to put this on the side. Right, take this and squeeze. So, whoops, that is not good. Okay. So, just pretend that didn't happen. So, my strawberry DNA should be contained in this liquid here. And when I take the rubbing alcohol and pour it inside the cup, what we hopefully will see is uh, we will see the strawberry DNA start floating up to the top here. And, uh, let's see. So, if this were like, uh, say another organism or if we wanted to grow a strawberry we would take this DNA and express it in a bacteria um, which would hopefully make DNA for us. So this one does not look like it's coming out which is kind of a bummer but if you were to look at this one for example that white stuff up top is the strawberry DNA. So this one's been sitting longer. It usually takes a while. Um, and this was a small strawberry. So the DNA, oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know, it's hard to say. It might be all floating up on the bottom there. See that white stuff? That might be strawberry DNA too. So um, there you go, strawberry DNA extraction. Um, if you want, I could give you a souvenir of a strawberry DNA, but uh, that's the general gist of things. How you get DNA from the inside to the outside of the cell. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So